Hey there, I'm right? JB and we're here with Planet Coaster 2. Now I had a lot of fun with Planet Coaster 1. This game is perfect for people who like to create stuff beyond imagination. This game has grid mode as well as free place mode. So people from islands might even like this game too. And of course, along the way, you're going to have little objectives. You're going to the place right, keep the people happy. Now we have career mode, which is a little bit of a storyline and of course a couple of objectives. We're going to have franchise mode, which is a little bit more difficult than career sometimes, but has a little bit of freedom from the sandbox mode. And of course, sandbox mode is all in. Now, I really like to create stuff. And if you guys would like to create with me, come up with certain teams, what we can do, get any ideas, just let me know in the comment section to become a part of the series. We're going to start off with career, then franchise, and then sandbox, if the game is a lot of fun. Let's find out. Now let's see what is the first thing that's going to be the prologue, which is called the first drop. And once we click on that, we have keys to the coaster, and we got in the swim of things. So the keys to the coaster, it's a great big planet of potential parks out there, but you will need to go through the coaster coast introduction first. Please keep your arms and legs inside this coaster of an onboarding at all times and strap in for some more lessons in park management. You know what? I'm not going to change the difficulty. Let's just do it and see where we're going to end up with. Now, some of you might be like, hey, JB, I have checked out other people and everything is blue at them. Yes, you can change this in the options. I've chosen to do this for reasons. Why, hello there. I'm glad you could make it. I'm Oswald B. Thompson, the CEO of Coaster Coast. Oh, Oswald, I didn't realize we had a guest. I'm terribly sorry, it didn't come up on my schedule. Not to worry, Eugene. This is the person I was telling you about. You're looking at the successor of Coaster Coast. Well, providing everything goes smoothly, of course. I can't just hand them the keys to the kingdom now, can I, eh? <laughs> Goodness, I do apologize. I've just checked my roster and there you are, right between King Coaster and Queen Splash. Not quite sure how I managed to royally mess that up, but never mind. You're accounted for now. Marvelous. Well, with that sorted, I think it's about time Eugene, our brilliant ride engineer, and I showed you the ropes. Consider this your official induction. Oh wow, yeah, the, the game looks good, and I do have to say that it changes some settings, so I'm going to need to see and tweak if something looks good or not good. Alright, we have already been reading this introduction before. Before we get started, we have a checklist of objectives from HR that we need to go through. I know, I know, but it's been company policy ever since one of our interns didn't know how to move around. We left them to it only to find them in the same spot three days later. Oh, that won't be you, though. Let's try moving the camera around the park now. So funny enough, changing the uh, epic settings to medium settings doesn't change anything on the FPS, basically. It's maybe three FPS difference in average, which is kind of odd, though. But let you see how things go. All right, so we needed to move the camera, which I did, and then rotate, right, and then, you know, uh, zoom. Now, I've got something that I think you'll enjoy. It's time to build your first ride. I'll hand you over to Eugene. He won Ride Engineer of the Year in 2016, so you're in good hands. I took the liberty of getting a ride ready for you to build. All you need to do is find a place to put it. All right, where should we put it? I mean, I guess it's clear. This is one thing I like from Planet Zoo, that they basically made a park where you're going to have little objectives very clear on what to do. So let's take a look at the flat rights. We have no item, but there is a create custom. And in here we have teacups. Spinning teacups, we got swinging, no teacups. I guess the one thing we're going to do is just, you know, follow the tutorial and then slowly but surely we unlock more stuff and get to play around with more stuff. And spin in style on this, what it says, teacup, right? Okay, let's just place it down here, not, not too much messing around. So far, you know, things are good. 
So, yeah, we always have like a little control room. In this case, it's on tops. Let's take a little distance from the pathway like that. Beautiful, fantastic. Blended. Our guests will need a way to access the ride. So, let's add an entrance gate. An entrance. That sounds like a delicious idea. Now, I want to place the entrance, of course, towards where people come in. That is going to be one of the important things. Is to treat people like and with cows. The <laughs> we need, that's right, an exit gate. Yeah, exit gate. Do we want people to exit? Now, nah, let's place we it down here. To connect a queue path to the ride entrance. Without one, guests will not be able to access the ride. Yeah, uh, you know, okay, so I noticed that I made a little, you know, mistake. Uh, for the people who have OCD, they will be like, geez, JP, what are, you, what are you doing? So, in this case, I'm gonna figure out how to replace it. And I think we can just press this button. And then I'm gonna satisfy you guys within a minute. It's right down there. Beautiful, right? Okay, so we need to add a pathway. Now, of course, with messing around, I just lost everything. But down here, it also describes connect entrance to pathway. So I'm gonna guess. Ah, we can click here. Right, that is what it is. So this is what we have. We got a line builder. We got classical paths. And customized brush. Wonder what is the difference? Well, let's figure it out later on. So we have curve style, which is very nice. We can have straight, which is very nice. I like to have a bit of a uh, straight one. And my goal here is. Obviously, won't need cues for guests leaving the ride. Could you imagine? <laughs> so you'll need to make sure you're connecting a standard park path to the exit gate. Yes. Thank you for helping out. I think I like this. It's like not a ride for too much people, and you know we can always change it if need to. So in this case, I will have to look what is going on. You cannot build a queue staff path on an exit. Oh, that's why. Okay, so these are the normal paths, queues, and staff. Okay, I got you. Oh yes. So this game hand now has a very unique adding type of deal. We'll get into that later on. Uh, in this case, I actually would like to exit before the little light pole, which I think will be... Uh... Okay, that is odd. The reason why I say that's odd, because I remember that right-clicking could delete pathways, but it also says hints to do this to this, right? It's even more simple. We also need to read. This is something I often forget. Read what it says so. It also says hold alt for radial menu. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot of fun to figure out. Uh, can I just exit this menu without selecting anything? Ah, like that. Okay. Like I've been saying, I'm going to give my honest opinion on things. Perfect. I like that a lot. That's it. That's all the steps for building a ride. If you do need a handy little way to remember those steps, I used to remember it as beep. Building, entrance, exit, path. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to open the ride. Actually, oh, that would make it beepo, wouldn't it? Oh, doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, so one other thing I quickly want to figure out is how I can make the pad look the same. Which we have customizing tools. Oh, that is not going to do it. Oh, copy. That's handy. But how do we override a pathway? Oh, okay. I see. So you have customized brush. And with that, indeed, you select... Right. Okay, you know, that, that that's fine by me. I can live with that. I, that. That's a very nice thing, brush. Okay, cool. So now we have done that. It's time to open our right. Right. Which is close. So now it's, it's open. noting that our guests will have to pay for tickets to enjoy the rides in our parks. We control how much we charge, though. So let's encourage guests to ride our latest attraction by setting the ticket price to bargain for now. Ah, uh -huh. bargain. Custom. What is all of that? Price, max price. Oh boy, there. 
premium oh with priority pass bargain what 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 is what does bargain mean increase the price later as i like to say when you achieve popularity charge premium for prosperity but one step at a time eh for now a very well done and a shiny medland that's <laughs> your first ride built and i'm sure it'll be the first of many you know i i like the i like the atmosphere of this thing it's um it's it it's very good for children but it's humorous 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 it's humorous for adults i like that it is simple, straight to the point. The addition of a new ride will have given a slight boost to our park rating. Right, okay. Uh, let's just see here. I just want to hover my mouse on this. I'm not sure if we make money or lose money. I guess this is the way how to check it out. Man, there is going to be so much to figure out. Oh, financials, park options. Right, so here. Right, okay, I see. So let's go and check out some stuff. We got rating, mm, scenery rating. Yes, I want to go on big wheels. This park is very spacious. I, you know, have you ever thought in a park? Yeah, I do. And the entry is free. Very good. Okay, okay. Keys to the coaster. Is that the name? The park. Keys to the coaster. Oh. Multiple different factors yes. contribute to this rating. So, you'll want to pay attention to the park rating overview. The better the rating, the more guests will visit. Right. Ah, oh. While driving the guest count up is good, we need to make sure the guests also remain happy while they're visiting. As you can see, we've just received a report that not all of the guests are enjoying themselves. It seems some are rather thirsty. To yeah. avoid this in the future, it's handy to keep checking on the guest needs tab. If things start dropping too low, you should step in and solve the issue before guests decide to leave. Let's start by quenching any thirst amongst our guests with a new drink shop. Right, cool. So, facilities. And then we have shops. And we have drink shops. So these are pre-made and you could also customize stuff but let's just um see here we have L latte love i love latte we got gopi that's a good old how do you say that a classic one very good there we go we got pip shot juice classic one and we got soda lightful yeah let's go for a, a latte love <laughs> okay uh, and open it sure let's uh let's have a look Let's open it. Mm -hmm. Now, the guests will need somewhere to relieve themselves after all that intake. Why not build a toilet nearby? We wouldn't want our guests walking around with crossed legs now, would we? That isn't good for anyone's posture. All right, I figured out a couple of things. First of all, I need to press Ctrl Shift G. No, maybe it was right. There we go. Okay, to turn off the hut. Very important for a screenshot. And then also, if you would press T, you first change your uh, camera into this mode. And then if you press T again, you can place yourself on a pathway and you can just walk around. And if you press, I believe, Alt, you can even jump. Now you can see that the focus in this game is a very big thing. So if I would jump and things getting out of focus it's a bit odd though uh so let's just turn it off also let's just see what it does i mean it's very important you know <laughs> yeah i like fo you know in my case i like this a lot better i don't need the whole focus and stuff except if i want to make like fancy screenshots i would like to have it on because then it makes a lot of sense yeah this is nice so the reason also is because now we can just walk around without having these crazy effects which uh now of course you need to ignore this objective type of ring but yeah this is amazing you can just walk in the park you can jump for whatever reason and not jump on the fence people are not allowed to right so makes sense Yeah, 
this is amazing. I uh, I get distracted because it's new. Of course, the further we get into things, it, it's not new. We get used to it, and you know we have heard all the sounds. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go to this one, and we're gonna grab a toilet, and we're gonna drop the toilet just a little, a little, little distance though, just like right down there, because you know it's obvious that people with diarrhea and latte Walking, guests yeah will get tired pretty quickly and their energy will drop if they don't have a place to sit oh. we should make sure there are plenty of benches available think of them as planconian recharging stations they're even wireless oh okay okay well let's go to scenery let's go to create custom and then ah classic classic Gonna go on this one and then that one because this will show us perfectly where we need to go to. So, in this case, we're gonna grab some fitting benches, which we can also colorize, which is super duper nice. Uh, I like the color for now. And we're gonna place this one down here and down here. I don't want people to look straight into here, I don't want people to look each other into the eyes. But down here, you know, we could place a bench for people who like to look at butts. So we're gonna. Amazing work! Yeah, oh, oh, oh. The guests will be a lot happier now. However, it does come at a price. Oh? More food and drink in the park also means more waste. Exactly. So it's important we have enough bins for people to properly dispose of their waste. Right, 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 right. Okay. Then it means. This one, this looks like a perfect bin for right down there. And can we do off paths? Let's just do one down there. Mm -hmm. Fantastic! Oh, we'll keep the park looking cleaner. We shouldn't stop there though. Let's make the park look even better by adding some scenery around the ride you built. That way, guests can enjoy the view while they queue. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, let's go to uh, Blueprints. Then, let's go to Scenery. Then, the game just be like, go ahead, just do something. Okay, so the one thing I have noticed in this game also, is that you can add stuff to a right switch. Okay, you want me to grab one of these, it, net? Okay, okay, okay. So, they want us to use pre-made stuff. Look at this. Right out here. Now this is pre-made, right? So if I could do something myself, I could create like the most insane stuff out there. Yeah, I'm gonna place this one right there. That's everything checked off the scenery list. Well done. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so most popular attraction, Forge, Guesting Parks 2006. Beautiful. Wow. The park is looking great. I can see why Oswald picked you. You're a natural. Now, if we're to keep adding more rides or facilities, they need to be connected to the power grid. Select an existing generator to view its info panel and see how much electricity it's producing. Right, okay. As you can see, the generator is powering a network that covers the area filled with rides and facilities. Let's expand that network to cover an open area of the park. To do that, place and connect the additional power facility to the grid. Right, a little bit of like city building idea of needing power. I like that. that that's really not a bad thing though. Okay, let's uh, do a new distributor. What is that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think this would be a nice spot. Mm hmm? Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, sure. I, I thought, you know, we need to just build a whole show out here. That's why I wanted to put it off site. Can we... No, no, we need to do it here. I, I get it. Okay. Nicely done. It's all running very smoothly indeed. But to keep the generators maintained and working, you must hire mechanics. Without them, the generators will start gaining a condition penalty, which will decrease the power output. Oh, 
It seems we don't actually have any mechanics hired. Well, that won't do. Let's hire a few straight away. It may seem excessive, but they're essential when it comes to the maintenance of rides and facilities. Right, okay, okay. You know, I love the uh, reflection onto this. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's click on the staff. And we need this guy. He seems like a smart guy. Let's put you right down here. Mm -hmm. And if that wouldn't be enough, I know from this game it would be smart to place one out there. Uh, uh oh, I must have jinxed it. We've had a ride break down. Good job we have those mechanics to go and nurse it back to health. An available mechanic will automatically be assigned to fix a broken ride. However, if one is not available, you will have to select the Call Mechanic button to reassign somebody to the job. Be careful though, as reassigning a staff member might mean you no longer have coverage elsewhere. Hiring staff is just the beginning though. You also need to pay attention to staff morale. If it gets too low, staff will start to quit their jobs. Breaks are absolutely essential when it comes to keeping staff morale up. And just like guests, our staff need a place to re-energize. To make all of their tired little dreams come true, you should place a staff building. Admittedly, they're not the most glamorous of buildings. So I'd advise you to place your staff building away from the guest areas, wherever possible. After all, we don't want to bring down that scenery rating that you worked so hard to build up. Right, right. I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I, you know, I'm into theme parks and zoo parks and what parks. And then you see like, like a building. It has like tons of weird windows up there. And then you realize, oh yeah, that's like a staff building. Which we will do here, which we will do there. And then it's like this guy. Now it needs to stay away from folks, right? As much as possible. So we're gonna place this in the back and also in the middle from this. Which this will perfectly do. Now the park staff have somewhere to go on their breaks and enjoy some peace and quiet. We just need to ensure our inquisitive guests don't go waltzing on in there for the free coffee, claiming to be lost. The best way to avoid this is by connecting an exclusive staff-only path to the building. Guests won't dare step foot on those tiles. Right, so we did talk a little look in here, staff pads. Now, in my case, I would first add in a staff pad and then attach the building to it, since it has like this nice snapping system. Yeah, in this case, I'll have to come up with a different idea. Okay, the first thing I am going to do is... Like from this angle to that. Okay, it will automatically add it up. That's also fine. Just like that. We need to build a mechanic workshop. Here, mechanics will generate research points that are used to unlock new items for your park. R right. Right. Okay. So we're going to take this one. Now, this is all kinds. Yeah, you see what happens right now? It, it's okay. It's a, uh, a learning experience right oh damn what was that hmm something is odd about this okay there we go yeah i think things are a little bit odd as you can see uh if you do it like mr uh, messy 25 fps i wonder what is going on i think this game needs a little bit of performance improvement of course it's always a thing like figure out like hey we don't need this or we don't need that you know like shadows or lights or whatever uh, so in this case that is done okay we need to open it up okay let's leave the mechanic to it for now we'll revisit this soon oh what an exquisite sight i i think i need a moment oh get some every time whoa we did it we did it uh, just in time our mechanic has earned enough research points to unlock something exciting. Let's take a look at the research tree and aim to unlock the coaster pack. It'll bring a tear to Eugene's eye. All right. Uh, it's up here. Okay. Research staff attractions. Okay. Yes. 
Oh yeah, research points. I like that. I like that. Looks uh, better than in the past. Track right. We got power. Underground well. Water tower. Solar panels. Okay, cool. Right, right. Flumes. What is? Oh, flumes are those things. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for a chain coaster, which will unlock us a couple of goodies. Oh God! Um, oh my! Yep. Oswald, is that is that the one I was designing? The very same lad. I was just about to make a start on it, but I tell you what, why don't you walk our new friend through it? It would be my pleasure. Now, this is just a little something I made earlier. <laughs> first things first, you'll need to select the blueprint. Right. Okay. This guy. Good. And place the coaster down wherever there is enough space. Okay, that is one thing. The second thing is, of course, keep in mind the, uh, the entrance and exits. Oh, yeah, I love this snapping system. Beautiful, guys. Oh, my God. One important note here is that, unlike flat rides, coasters need to pass a safety test before they can be opened. Now yeah. as good a time as any. Would you like a countdown? Five. No. Five, 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 five. Four. Okay. Oh, you just want to get on with it? No. Oh, okay. Not a problem. Ah. So what language is this? Exiton and Taru? Is that like made up stuff or is it an actual language? I don't recognize this. And look at these things. I love that. Fantastic. Nice colors on the coaster. Okay, let's just do a uh, test and... While we wait for the test to finish, let's take the opportunity ah. to add some scenery around the coaster. Let's place one out here. Oh, and remember to open the ride like you did earlier on. Like a Oh, that is a beauty! Terrific work, you two. This is a coaster that truly deserves a place in the spotlight. So, how about we put together an advertisement to mark the occasion, hmm? Head to the advertising tab in the park management menu and let's show the world what the park has to offer. Right. Different audiences to cater for, however. So it's worth considering which advertisement will bring the most guests to your park. Okay, cool. So let's click on here. Then it's at the guest. Advertising. Coaster lovers, awareness 1%, maximum reach 2,000 folks, daily returning guests 20. Uh huh. View requirements must be a cousin. Okay, that sounds logic. Uh, park rating. Mm, okay, let's just do this. And then, and no one in cost per hour. Let's do 10,000. You know, let's just, uh, yeah, indeed, let's just do 1,000 for now, and it will last 16 hours and 1 minute. Cool. While we wait for our campaign to start bringing in more guests, why don't you try out the ride camera and experience all the exhilaration the coaster will have to offer firsthand? Yeah, cool. Okay, so I think we need to click on here, then go to the camera. And then we can actually hide the um, stuff with this. And then let's just enjoy for a second while I will shut up. Oh God. This, this, I love coasters, I'm afraid of height, and this thing, no, I don't like that at all. Right, enjoy.
God. Whew. Man, that was uh, horrifying. Was that? Enough for the time being? <laughs> Thank you again for all your hard work. Coast or Coast is going to be in the best of hands, I can tell. Oswald, you're not... You're not... <laughs> I'm not going anywhere just yet, Eugene. Don't panic. We're just getting started. Dipping our toes in the... Actually, hold that thought. I've got just the job lined up for you. I'll send you the details. See you soon. All right. All oh, freaking right. So let's just click on continue. Now, the thing is, this first episode is very slow. It, it's like, oh, what is this? We need to figure out stuff. Oh, what's wrong with the FPS? A lot of messing around. But I can guarantee you the further we get into this game, the more I get used to the stuff, the more I figure it out better settings we're gonna get for what we want to do and at some point i i tell you i want to build crazy scenery stuff i want to go beyond the boundaries of what is possible and this game has a lot to offer though i'm not making any advertisement because i'm not getting paint anything i didn't have this game for free i just i have loved planet coaster a lot right the only downside of planet coaster was i believe it crashes at some point which i think i needed to turn like steam overlay off or something besides that that game was freaking amazing and i'm looking forward to you know get deep into this game too and just use my fantasy to create stuff now i just want to say that these rights does show like oh these people's hands and stuff but if you pass a coaster you won't see these little hands popping up so that's one thing i do want to explain you Let's go into... Oh, oh no, what's happening? What did I do? Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Get into it. So yeah, I just quickly want to say in the next episode, we're going to continue with the second scenario. And uh, let's enjoy this last ride for the outro. And thanks for watching, of course. God. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's uh Wow, very nice coaster. Right, cool. I am enjoying myself already way too much.